First question is from Lopez93. What is the exercise you dislike the most but do regularly because you know it's beneficial? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Pull-ups. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's actually a good call. Why do you hate them? Uh, I, I just like was either. never good at them. You know, I was a pusher. Yeah, more in a puller. Uh, that's not, I, Yeah, but it's true. Um, I don't know. I just, there's some innuendo there's there. There's no but, sexual um, yeah. there. <laughs> I just remember, you remember the presidential physical fitness tests? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I did really well, like in, in the mile run, push-up contest, yeah, like the sit and reach, abs, all that. Pull-ups were just a grind, That kid dude. hanging like this? <laughs> it's because you got that <laughs> dump truck, bro. Uh, it just sucked. And, and it's always been that. So I would avoid it. I'd come back to it, avoid it. And now it's just like it's a part of the routine by spite, you know, because I just don't want to be weak. Yeah. You know what? You know what's funny uh, with the presidential fitness test? I did. I crushed everything. The one test used to always oh, piss me off was the seat, sit and reach. What a stupid fitness uh, test. Because yeah. <laughs> well, you suck at it. I don't care. It's I, I, I crushed the run. I crushed the push. All the <laughs> physical stuff. Then you got to sit down and you got to go and reach as far as you well, can. They got to give the Gumby kid something. Yeah, yeah. right. That's, Made me so mad. Uh, Made me so mad. Today. The irony of that, that's probably your Achilles heel today. If, we, if You're probably the least flexible out of all of us. No, I think flexibility, I'm pretty good. Mobility is different though. But I got decent flexibility from jujitsu. Mm. But my mobility is not that, not that phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different story. Bro. Yeah. That's a different story. So what's story. yours then? Yeah. You know, I would have to say the split stance, lower body exercises. Ooh, Bulgarian split squat like that? Walking lunges, back step uh, yeah, lunges, are... single leg exercises. Oh. They, they're just... I, I can get now. I enjoy them now because I've connected them to the. I've played some mind games on myself uh, with it. I've connected the benefit to the exercise, which uh -huh. now makes me enjoy it. It's like it's what you do with vegetables too. It's like if I sit and like right. think of the taste of the vegetables, I'm like, uh. but if I start to really connect the dots to the benefit, then I start to actually enjoy the vegetables. Split stance exercises, you can't go as heavy. I love heavy training. You know, I like loading up the barbell. I like to feel like I'm you know packing on the muscle. And, you know, when I'm doing those exercises, they just, they're lighter, they require more balance, I need to be slower with them. But I've dedicated myself to them for a little while, and I see the carryover. So now that I've connected them to the benefit, I like them a little more, but I still don't enjoy them as much as like that, a That's squat. such a good point, because I think yeah. that most, there, most exercises that I do on a regular basis, I might have, or I probably hated at one point, yeah. but because I've gone through that process of, okay, regardless of, of me hating it or not, I'm going to build into my routine consistently. And then I've done it long enough that it's shown me the benefits from it that I've learned to like it. I mean, squats was like that for me at one point. Oh, wow. Great point. Yeah, you, I mean, were, you hated squats. I hated uh -huh. squats. That's like one of my favorite things to do. If there's anything, I, if I have a week where I do hardly anything, I will definitely at least squat. So, you know, a lot of movements that I do on a regular basis at one point uh, now, which, because, okay, here's the thing. Most people... Uh, hate the stuff that is most effective and most difficult, right? Most people like pull-ups are pretty hard. You know, squatting is pretty hard. Yeah. Deadlifting is pretty hard. Overhead, standing overhead press is hard. You know, they're like, you know, Turkish get up hard. Th these are all hard movements and they also come with tremendous benefit. And if you've done a good job of putting it in your routine consistently long enough, it's probably paid you dividends and then you don't have the same feeling about it. So it's hard to say this. Like, it's hard to like, what is it that I'm doing right now that I'm in there on a regular basis that I, that I really hate doing, but I continue to do it really well. I mean, pull-ups are probably the one that comes to mind the, the most, Justin, because I, I do go in and out of these phases when I am doing pull-ups, and I just came out of a phase of not doing them for a while, mm -hmm. and so I suck at them right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, of, as soon as I see I suck at them, I'm like, okay, I'm going to fix this. I don't want to be that bad at pull-ups, such a functional movement. Yeah. Right? I love pull-ups, one of my favorite exercises. But I think when you – you know what? You guys are bringing up good points because we've been training for so long. Um, I think you got to get past some of that stuff because you see the benefit. You're like, well, this is why I'm doing it. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just going to I would doing never it. do a standing – before you guys, I would have never done a standing overhead press on my own. Mm -hmm. It's not something I like to do at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely wasn't even deadlifting yeah. before, really. I would have never done sled, the sled drives. Right. Never. It was, It would. It felt too – like it didn't give me the pump and it felt like I was like, what? I'm not going to play football or yeah, whatever. It's hard and yeah. Yeah. And like less reward. But now I do it at least once a week, if not twice a week, because uh, I'm starting to really see and feel the benefits that it's providing. Yeah. Um, but that, you know, that's another good point. It, you are going to go through cycles with exercises. Mm -hmm. There's going to be times when you're not going to like an exercise and then times when you like, like, you know, here's the deal. 
certain ways of working out I like when I'm trying to get lean, and there's certain ways of working out that I like to do when I'm trying to build size and bulk. Mm -hmm. Like heavy lifting for low reps and uh, you know long rest periods you sucks be when I'm getting lean yeah. because I'm just not as strong. I'm mm -hmm. not going to go out and squat or deadlift tons of weight when my calories are low, so I tend to pair it with lighter weight and supersets not because of the calorie burn or anything, but because I already not gonna, I'm already not going to lift as much weight because I'm doing short rest periods. Yeah. Might as well do it when my calories are low, right? Well, that's the same. I mean, I I just got back into like kettlebell swings. I hate it right now because I've just been doing like no cardio, no endurance training, like yeah. nothing like that kind of explosive. And it's, it, it, oh man, and it's very visible and, and my body feels the lack of, uh, uh, you know, work in that direction. So it's just one of those things like I, I'm like, well, I should probably get back into these just because I haven't done them in so long. I mean, that's the takeaway from this is that no matter what it is that you hate doing, you do it long enough, you're going to see some tremendous benefit from it. And that typically switches you hating it. I think at one that's point, true. a lot of the stuff that I do on a regular basis and a lot of the stuff that I love today, I hated at one point. Yeah, no, you know? So if you can discipline yourself to just be consistent, especially if you know it's good for you, right? You know it's a movement. You know it's a one of those movements that has so many benefits to it, and you just have never been really consistent with it for long enough. Stick with it, well, and it'll, it'll probably end up turning into something you love. Here's a little mind game. you can Because it's all about how you perceive the movement and what part of it you're focusing on. Like if I'm focusing on, am I good at this exercise now? Then there's going to be exercises that I'm going to hate. If I switch my mindset and fall in love with the improvement of the exercise. Mm -hmm. So not that I'm good or bad at it, but rather, wow, I can see that I'm getting better at And I fall in love with that part of it. Then what ends up happening is these exercises that you suck at start to become your favorite because the potential for improvement is so right. high in them. Right. Like the exercises that I'm already good at now, my potential for improving on them is low. I've been doing them for a long time. I'm already good at them. But if I go do an exercise I suck at, I'm going to get I'm going to see improvements on a weekly basis. And so if I don't focus on the the fact that I suck at it, but rather the improvements, now I start to enjoy doing the exercise. So you have to you have to change your mindset. Yeah, reframe it. Yes. Hey, if you like this clip and you want to see more like this, click right here. But if you want to see the full episode where this clip came from, click right here.